The last 12 months have been a really great year for CQ Health and every one of us as a team should recognise and celebrate the fantastic work that we've all achieved, that you've all achieved over the last 12 months as we've delivered great care to central Queenslanders. It's also put our health service in a really strong position going forward and I'd like to share some of the really exciting things that we've got planned for the future with you now. It's really reassuring to know the impact that our strategic vision, Destination 2030, Great Care for Central Queensland, as has had on our organisation, has provided real clarity, real direction for the future of our health services. And I think that's supported our community, our staff, our patients, our partners, and our consumers. In 2017 18, the 3,500 people that make up CQ Health, all of you have improved the health and lives of thousands and thousands of Central Queenslanders, delivering safer care, delivering more care, delivering timely care, delivering accessible care that's closer to home. And all of those things make such a difference to the people who rely on our services right across Central Queensland. And I'll share some of those successes with you right now. We talk about great care, great experience, in the last 12 months, for the second consecutive year in a row, we've seen a reduction in the number of most serious clinical incidents for our patients and our consumers. We talk about great people, great place to work. In the last 12 months, we've seen the single biggest improvement in staff engagement, staff satisfaction and leadership across our organisation when compared to all of Queensland Health in the Working for Queensland survey results. We've grown our workforce by almost 170 more staff, including 71 more nurses and midwives and 25 more doctors. We've met and exceeded the 80% benchmark in our emergency departments, whilst dealing with a 3% increase in emergency presentations. We've had no patients waiting for surgery longer than clinically recommended, and we've done that whilst delivering nearly 6% more surgeries. At the end of June, we had nobody waiting for uh, an outpatient appointment or an endoscope procedure longer than clinically recommended. We've delivered activity growth in all of our hub sites and in most of our rural facilities as part of our care close to home commitment. We've exceeded oral health targets with a general waiting list of 19 months against the target of 24 months. We've met our telehealth target, delivering more than 10,000 telehealth appointments with plans to continue to grow that service to reduce patient travel and provide more care close to home. We've ramped up our staff and community engagement, receiving more than 3,400 responses to 91 consultations. We've increased clinical engagement with the introduction of the CQ Clinical Senate and the Clinical Council. And we've completed extensive consumer and community consultations at all levels across our organisation. At the start of this year, we set out 53 projects that would be the first stage and this year's work towards delivering Destination 2030, great care for Central Queenslanders. It's fantastic to see that 51 of those projects have been completed uh, or concluded in the last financial year. And you can see a link to all of those projects at our regular Destination 2030 newsletter. Our record budget for the 2018-19 year and our roadmap towards Destination 2030, great care for Central Queenslanders, paint a really clear picture of the steps that we'll take to achieving that vision. We've been allocated $610 million for the next financial year and the improvements that that will support include more than $9 million investment to deliver more activity in emergency departments, elective surgery and in outpatients. Creating 70 new jobs including 11 more midwives, 8 more senior medical officers, up to 30 new community mental health posts right across central Queensland. Investment in Indigenous health roles and more nurses including nurse navigators. And added to that we'll have more than 80 additional graduate nurses. Investment in day surgery and nursery and in high dependency unit staffing at Gladstone Hospital. Investment in cardiology and paediatric services at Rockhampton on behalf of all of Central Queensland. And investment in rural generalist services across Central Queensland. More support, more investment, more staff to enable a greater access to obstetric and surgical services across rural Central Queensland. And investment in step up, step down mental health unit at Gladstone for that region. If we look ahead to the end of 2018-19 we'll have seen the completion of the Rockhampton Hospital car park and completion of the important investments in North Rocky Nursing Home and construction work for our 42 million dollar new emergency department at Gladstone Hospital will be well underway. 
Add to that the roadmap to 2030 and the projects for 2018-19, which include ensuring that all of our HHS is ready for that important step to digital integrated electronic medical records. We've seen more improvements in workplace culture right across our organisation, building on the success we've seen over the last 12 months. And we've further progressed our investment and our commitments towards education and research right across our organisation. We've already announced plans for a Central Queensland Medical School and that will have progressed further in partnership with CQ University and our other university partners. And we'll have continued to progress the development and implementation of clinical networks right across Central Queensland to support even greater advancements in safety and quality of the care that we provide every single day. My personal commitment is I will make every single decision with two overarching priorities in mind. Great care, great experience and great people, great place to work. Thank you.